Hey guys, I'm Gabby and I'm kinda dumb because only after fully editing, exporting, and deleting the original footage to this video did I realize that this clip was muted. So basically what I'm saying very energetically with lots of hand motions is that I finally found a routine that works for my curly hair because as we know, I tried a curly hair routine and I just ended up having a mental breakdown. So that's basically what I'm saying in this intro. Also, here's the footage of the mental breakdown, but it's the only other thing in the video that's muted. And so my parents helped me like find stuff. We've been trying all sorts of things and we finally found something that works. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys today. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be such a fun time. So yeah, let's get started. Still against my better judgment. It's just, I chose to go with my worst judgment. If I could take you up in tell me I'm the only one that you know. Okay, please don't hate me on this camera angle. We're doing the best we can and I just like the purpose is not to have amazing camera angles. The purpose is to show you guys my hair routine. So yeah, this is what this is what we're working with today. We're gonna do our best. Okay, voiceover Gabby here. So the first step in my routine is to shampoo my hair on the days I do shampoo it, which is about once or twice a week. And I use this Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Shampoo, and I just rub it into my scalp, and then I brush it out with this scalp brush. Today, I did not shampoo my hair, so the first step in my routine was just to get it wet and brush it out. Also, I try to brush it out really good because this is the only time I'll be brushing my hair in the whole routine. And then obviously, I washed my face for cleanliness. After I wash my face, I squeeze out my hair really, really good because I just want it to be damp, not super wet. And then I use the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Conditioner. I put a pretty good amount in my hand, not too much, but also not a little bit. And I rub it on my hands, and then first I start by just like lathering it in my hair, just like normal. And then I start scrunching. I've noticed that it really helps if I put the conditioner in while scrunching. So basically, I just go back and forth between the sides and scrunch up my hair while also like lathering the conditioner in, as you can see. And I feel like this helps because it's conditioning it while it's in the curl pattern that it's supposed to be in. So it's like not as frizzy in that pattern. And then I almost fell. But anyways, I just keep doing the scrunching and conditioning until I feel like the conditioner is like evenly throughout my hair. And I know you're not really supposed to condition your roots, but I like to put a little bit in there. And then I washed my body. I don't I don't really know what I was doing here, but uh but yeah, yeah, I I, I clean myself. And next it's time to rinse out the conditioner. So I just get it really wet and then I start kind of like squeezing it out, combing it with my fingers a little bit while I do it. But I just get it nice and rinsed out. And once I feel like I've rinsed out the conditioner enough, I squeeze it out normally, but then I start scrunching again. And this is like, I feel like the really important part is when you dry it to dry it scrunching. Because if you try to dry it like straight or like not in the curl pattern, at least for me, it does not hold the curl pattern as well. And then I hit my head. So I basically just sit here and scrunch out the water out of my hair for like a really long time. Like I scrunch it until it's like not super dry, but like it, there's not a lot of water in it when I'm done. And then I just turned off the shower because it's very important to not get it wet while you're scrunching it out because that would defeat the whole purpose of scrunching the water out of your hair. And then I take my towel and what a plot twist. I scrunch my hair. Guys, I haven't done that at all in this video. Isn't that so crazy? I towel dry it out until it's pretty darn dry. That's like the main way I get the water out after like squeezing it out with my hands. This is what it looks like at this point. It's actually pretty dry even though it looks wet. And also just to emphasize again, I do not brush my hair. 
So after I've done all this, usually when I lotion up, I take my towel and I wrap it around my hair like this, not super tight, but like in a spot where it won't like get super frizzy, you know? And then, another unexpected plot twist, we use more Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. But this is a Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, and I swear, this stuff is magical. So I do about a pump and a half when I'm feeling generous, and I just divide it between my two hands, and each hand is one half of my hair. Yeah, and then I do more scrunching. Surprise. This like process is very repetitive but you have to stay with me okay so i basically just spread it through my hair and then i like kind of flatten down my roots because i don't like it when the tops of my hair are, like super crazy so i kind of flatten that down just so that there aren't like a bunch of flyaways and frizz at the top also i just want to say that if you want to buy any paul mitchell super skinny products you have to buy them from ulta or hair place because if you get them for any from anywhere else they're probably fake tell but my hair is about halfway dry right now look at these little ringlets these guys crack me up anyways my hair is about halfway dry it's still a little damp but the last step for night is to take this big fat silk scrunchie and i just put my hair in a little ponytail in the back i loop it i loop the scrunchie like twice so it's pretty loose but it still holds it and yeah i like the silk ones because they don't like give me like kinks in my hair or anything i also want to say if this doesn't work tomorrow i am literally knowing my luck it's probably not gonna work tomorrow but it's been working so well the last like week or so like it's been i'll show you i'll put some pictures on the screen of like how it's looked the last couple days because it's looked so good okay so if it doesn't work tomorrow it probably was just like i don't know it probably i just messed something up but it has been working okay i promise so yeah i'll see you guys in the morning and i'll show you the results Okay, I lied. It's still the same night and I decided to take my hair back out of the ponytail for a little bit because I felt like it was still too wet and if I put it in the ponytail too early, it will um, be just wavy and not like curly and I want to show you guys like the full effect because the wavy still looks good. But I want to show you guys like what it fully looks like. So this is it now and I'm about to go to bed and I'm going to put it in the ponytail like because it's, it's almost fully dry, I think. So hopefully it'll be more curly in the morning. Good morning, everybody! It's the next day, and basically, when I first wake up, I my ponytail is obviously really messy because I just slept on it, so I just redo it so that it like stays out of my face while I'm washing it. And this is what it looks like. We got the curls going. So the first step is to first kind of just like brush it out if it looks a little crazy, but it actually doesn't. Like we, it looks pretty good this morning. Okay, the next step is I take more Paul Mitchell um super skinny i actually don't know if this is super skinny but yeah it's actually not super skinny but it's paul mitchell gloss drops and it says one to three so i usually do about two little pumps it's super shiny i rub it in my hands and then just like scrunch it into my hair because if i try to do it like in other patterns i usually like i usually accidentally end up putting it all in like the front or the back so we scrunch it in all around So now this is what it looks like and it's sort of like greasy i guess from the gloss drops it's not like greasy but you know you know what i mean it's like the gloss drops are like oily so i kind of i usually let it sit here for a couple minutes while i do other things and then i come back to it okay so usually i have been um taking like a piece back and like twisting it around like clipping it back with a little like butterfly clip or i'll do like two pieces back but today i actually really like how it looks just normal so the last step is to take this John Frieda Frizz Ease Moisture Barrier Hairspray and I just kind of lightly go in on the undersides of my hair, the outsides of my hair, and I kind of just like lock it in with my hands like this. It's kind of a weird process and there aren't any like specific things I do. I just kind of spray it in there, make sure to get it nice and good. I usually keep a hair tie on my wrist, especially if it is humid outside because humidity can do a number on curly hair. Let me tell you, no matter what products you use, humidity can like 
but anyways that's what i do hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload as always i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one bye